Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. This video has been postponed a lot uh, because of the situation here in France. It's kind of changing every day, maybe not every day, but it's changing a lot because we had, you know, a government change, changing of, of government. And well, so what I'm going to say is going to be relevant as for today. So we're Thursday, July 23rd. This pandemic, this COVID-19 is still going on here. Up until now, more than 170,000 people have been affected. Almost 80,000 people are healed. And unfortunately, more than 3,000 people have died died from the COVID-19. We lost a lot of lives. May 11 marks the end of the quarantine. Finally, with some restrictions still relevant, we can't go far more than 100 km or it was a work expansion. I don't really know if this is how you said that, but you know, if you can't work from home, you needed we needed a paper. I don't know if you remember, but I was really sad at that time because I thought that the end of the quarantine meant for me that I will finally be able to go back to my family and see them. But as I'm living 600 kilometers far away from them, it was impossible. I had a really hard time, like probably a lot of you guys. So, masks were required. Oh, yeah, I was taking in the present moment, but it's like we were there, okay? Masks were, are at this time, required in public clothes, in closed public areas, like in the bakery. But at least we can get out without a certificate. Certificate, certification, not sure of the word. That paper was needed whenever we needed to go grocery shopping, to go job, or walk the dog, or actually to work. So you have to know that the restrictions were kind of crazy, but normal for the situation. We weren't able to get out more than one hour a day if we were going to you know, walk the dog, or job, or do some sport. And we weren't able to go for more than one kilometer for the kind of activities. So yeah, there were strong restrictions to apply for this situation. June 2nd marks the second end of quarantine phase. Masks are not required anymore, only in some places where, you know, shop owners uh, decide to or not, decide so or not. So we have a, a map of France, of the country where there were zones. And if it was green, museums, public gardens or schools were opening up again. You know, it was progressive. All regions were opening at, the, at their time, you know, following the situation or following what was going on. With the situation getting bad again, wearing a mask is required once again for everyone older than 11 years old in every public closed, in every closed public, I think this is the way you say it, closed public space and even in the streets of some cities, like, you know, those big tourist areas or places where there are a lot of people gathering. Yeah, we are expecting a second wave uh, at the end of the year, uh, probably near you know, October, November, coming from the south. This is what the authorities said. The government said they're getting ready because they don't want to have a second quarantine as the first one had terrible economic and human consequences. So it seems like they're preparing another plan. I hope so. I mean, of course, I guess they're doing their best, right? As for COVID-19, we can have 700,000 screening tests per week, said Olivier Véran, though this is our health minister. Uh, I don't know if this is a screening test. I actually looked this word online and I didn't really find... I don't know, tell me guys, you, you, how is it called? Like screening test, you know, to, to test if we are positive or not for the COVID-19. So th this is huge, you know, like 700,000 tests per week. I don't know, but I didn't hear or see anyone getting, you know, tests besides my dad who's working in a hospital. But none of my friends or family or I don't know, relatives has been test tested. Um, so I don't know how it, it, this happening, but well, when it comes to airports or borders, they're taking the temperature at the Lyon station, for example, or, you know, a health paper is required when you take the airplane to go to Spain. By the way, the borders between France and Spain are open, but it seems like it will be soon closed again. And I have a friend there, actually, he's on a little trip with his family and girlfriend, and I'm kind of worried that he won't be able to come back, because a lot of people have been you know, in the impossibility to come back at their home while they were over years, so it's kind of scary, right? I could talk about some contradictions, but I won't because first, I am probably not as aware of the situation and I'm not in the position to judge anything that is happening right now. And second, I think and I hope that the government and the authorities and everyone is doing their best through this pandemic 
But you, yes, you probably already heard it even in your country that a lot of things could have been done, a lot of other could have been avoided. Well, I feel like with my small position, it's inevitable because it's huge, it's a global pandemic, so I feel like those things that are happening or not happening are inevitable. I just hope that everyone is staying safe and that it's okay in your country or it's getting better, even though I know that like in Hong Kong, for example, there already is a third wave, so this is pretty crazy. It's a, it's a virus, so we can't really, not we can't really do anything about it because if we wear masks or if we, you know, like clean our hands, and you know, it could be, of course, you can have an impact, but I feel like this is something that we don't see, so this is something that it's scary. Yeah, for sure, it's scary. So I always say stay safe and please take care of yourself. And, and I, of course, I mean it, you know, uh, because I want you to stay safe and take care of yourself. Uh, but when I really think about it, I feel like uh, for this COVID-19, now we can't do anything about it. I'm repeating myself, but it's like, I don't know. It's just, it's really scary because we can't see it. Yeah, this, this is my feeling about it. <laughs> I give you some information about what's going on in France right now. Um, and now I'm going to kind of give you my personal view of what's happening here in France. Not everyone is respecting the fact that we need to wear a mask or the you know social distance, either because they don't respect it, either because it's impossible, you know, the one or two matters, sometimes it's completely impossible. So it's understandable, of course. So I hope this video helps you to better understand the situation here in France. But as I told you, I can't really give you that much information because it's always, always changing. But I think I will do an update on it like in two or three months when maybe the situation we have set, will have settled down or not. We're going to see. But yeah, I want to share that with you because I know that you're coming from a lot of other countries in France and it has been requested. So that's it guys, I hope you are staying safe and taking care of yourself. I know I'm repeating myself, but yes, I really hope so. If you want me to do that kind of videos where I talk about a subject and I give you some information about my country or anything like this, please tell me in the comments down below. Uh, I really actually like it to you know share information with you if I can be any help. I am really glad. So yeah, I will leave you guys here, please have a nice day and I will see you very soon, bye!